Hi Transurfers, this is Shlomo. Did you ever wonder what are you supposed to surf on in Transurfing? We have close to a thousand members here in this group. And uh, why did you all join the group? I would guess it's because the books are not that simple to understand, to say the least. And most of you are seekers. You want to be able to manifest things in, in your life, things that you desire, that you like. And I can see also many of us, many of you, trying to help with videos and explaining and, and podcasts and so on. But the seekers keep coming back and the wheels keep turning. There's very little change for the seekers, or at least to the majority. So here I decided to make an effort and help with something that I think is quite important. See, in uh, reality transurfing, Vadim says that external intention can be only activated by uniting the heart and the mind. Which means, basically, that whatever your thoughts are, they have to generate emotions. Many people say that love powers the universe, which has basically the same meaning. I came to the conclusion that the only way to influence or maintain or manifest anything is with emotions, real emotions. And what I mean by emotions, I don't mean love. Love is one of them. There is also the other side. Think about the line that has love on one end of it and hate on the other end of it. As long as you are not in the center, it will work. Think about the evil eye. The evil eye is really created by bad emotions or negative emotions or call it whatever you want, but it works many times. See, when I analyze my part, uh, past experience with causing a change in the fabric of the universe, I realize that it happened only when I felt something about it. Love, excitement, or hate. See, as we humans mature, we become more and more cool and less excitable. We become desynthesized. Children, for example, can manifest their whole future because their emotions flow freely. You can imagine your desired outcome 24 hours a day with pictures with any color and you can scream and you will manifest nothing unless there is an emotion attached to that, to that thought. Now, without any religious intention, I want to read something to you. And this comes from the book of uh, Genesis in the Torah. So here it is. It's very short. It about, it's about Hagar, which was uh, the first wife, call it, of Abraham. And... Uh, at some point, his other wife, Sarah, decided to throw her out of the house with the child, Ishmael. So here it comes. Early next morning, Abraham got up and took bread and water, water skin and handed them to Hagar, placing them on the, and the boy on her shoulder. Then he cast her out, trudging away. She wandered aimlessly in the wilderness of Beersheba. When the water in the skin was all gone, she cast the child away under a bush. She walked away and sat down on the other side at the remove, at a remove of about shut, bow shut, thinking, let me not see the child's death. There on the other side, she sat and wept in a loud voice. 
God heard the boy's cry. And from heaven, an angel of God called to Hagar and said, What is troubling you, Hagar? Have no fear, for God heard the cry of the boy where he is. Get up, lift the boy, and hold him with your hand, for I am going to make of him a great nation. So do you see what happened here? Hagar was very loud and she was crying and everything, but did not attach enough emotion to it. You know, a mother that can basically throw a dying child under a bush and, and walk away and sit somewhere else, it doesn't look like very emotional. On the other hand, the cry of the child was real. It was real emotions. So what I'm saying basically is that the only language that penetrates to the source is emotion. And uh, what Vadim says about uniting the mind and the heart may be a little bit confusing because the mind is always there. This is how you actually create the emotion, is with your mind. So what he's saying really is that you have to have emotions. You cannot have just an emotion with, with a goal without this thing being in your mind. Now, for what it's worth, I caused some big changes to many lives by sending them positive emotions. And I also caused some serious damage to very large entities with my resentment. More about that maybe in future videos. Now, to those of you who are familiar with the Healing Olive Project, which I did uh, about three years ago, there are a few hundred out there who used the Healing Olive and told me that it changed their lives. Now, how? So, the way this happened is by me looking at their picture and focusing on something I loved about them. This is what did it. Please let me know in your comments if you would be interested in me expanding on how to generate emotions or how to bring emotions into your thoughts. And in the meantime, happy transurfing. Thank you.